Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Not so Odd, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the new Drugalia Lost second anniversary. So there are some big things coming this way, and I just wanted to make a small video recapping all the important things that are going to be happening over the next 30 to 33 days or so. So let's get started with Galazena, Midgar Samar Zero, and Mean or Mine, as they are part of the new raid event. So the new raid event is going to focus around uh, Grestacia about a thousand years ago, and Midgar Samar Zero and Mene are part of that event, and Galazena is just the new Gala unit who just happens to coincide with that. So all three of them will be on a banner together. Also, we'll be getting 330 summons, which is 10 summons every day for the next 33 days, I believe, starting tomorrow on the 27th for me here in Texas. Um, we're also getting a lot of login bonuses, like... Uh, so a lot of upgrade upgrade items like Testaments and uh, Mini Hildy, which is a really cute addition to have for a collector's item. Not really a lot of competitive use on that one. There's also a big retweet campaign coming where if we get enough retweets, we get um, a bunch of free items and some Wormite, which is great. I believe it's um, 1,200 Wormite. And um, I believe everyone who retweets gets entered for a chance to, I guess, get 10 Gala heroes, which is pre uh, Gala units, which is pretty great. <clears throat> Next, there's a bunch of social rewards. So they're doing the social rewards thing where every new player you play with is eligible to give you a reward of um, up to 2,500 Wormite per uh, co-op quest. So that's pretty good. We're also getting a new refresh look where everything just looks better. I think every someone mentioned like Wind Waker vibes, and that's kind of what it feels like playing the game since the update happened. There's also a more simplified uh, weapon upgrade system and Wormite upgrade, uh, Worm Prince upgrade system, my bad. In addition to this, a bunch of items will and features will be removed. However, we're being compensated for every removed item from the game, which is pretty nice. And the simplification of the weapon system is nice, but the simplification of the Wormite system kind of leaves... Uh, sorry, Wormite. Said it again. The simplification of the Worm Print system kind of leaves much to be desired, in my opinion, because a lot of things get... A lot of worm prints just got dumbed down to a single ability, so that's kind of sad. Even though stacking them gives you something, there ends up being a lot of redundancy. Next, there's a, there's a new weapon type called Mana Caster, and we're getting a free dro, as well as a, a bunch of free Mana Caster weapon structures, in addition to like, because uh, you know, like there's bow structures, um, sword structures, etc., that we got from completing the, what is that thing called? That we got from completing Imperial Onslaught. So we're getting a structure for the Mana Caster weapon type, and that's just free, it's just been given to you, so you can go and put that on your, uh, your Halidom almost immediately. Another really awesome thing we're getting is the Battle Royale system, which is a new mode that's very, very similar to competitive, and I guess this is like, because you can get ranked in this system and it's PvP, uh, you just pick a character and to play with and you use that single weapon type to, throughout the game, like, uh, through, well, throughout the match, I guess, and you run around just fighting other players and other monsters, and I think it's up to uh, 16 players in a single match, so that's pretty interesting. Um, let's see how that works out. So I'm guessing this is the, new, the game's new PvP competitive mode. And I'm sure there'll be some rewards associated with that, I just don't think they've been announced yet. Also, there's a, there's been a separation of, of rewards for both solo and cooperative play. So it's kind of like if you're playing solo versus co-op, there will be different difficulties and different rewards for those. Hey everyone, editing Oddish here, and I totally forgot to mention that there's a new upgrade to summoning as well. We're getting what's essentially spark summoning in the form of an item called worm sigils. As we summon, we'll get these items called worm sigils that can be exchanged for one of the raid up heroes on the banner, or any hero on the banner, to my understanding. I believe it's probably just limited to five stars though, because otherwise I could get my Templar Hope on. Anyway, just wanted to mention that because it's a pretty big update to summoning and it's something, and spark summoning in particular, is something we've all been asking for for a little while. Anyways, back to the video. The last thing I want to mention is that we are getting a Gala Knot, which is, well, I don't know, this is actually, this is actually just speculation. So it's a little picture of Knot saying, I want to help. So to me, that reads like they're releasing a Gala Hero for Knot. And that was, you know, it's been a long time coming. We've all been wondering, like Knot's been saying for a while that she's a dragon. So it'd be really interesting to see a Gala Knot who's a dragon. So I think that's the last thing I want to end on because... That was like the most curious thing to me that happened in this. So I feel at the end of this 33 days or towards the end of the 33 days of the anniversary event, we're just going to see a random gala banner and it's going to be for a gala knot. And it would have been hinted at in this trailer. 
anyway that's going to be all for today thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye